My name is Mishkin Bertig. I've been using Scrum since 2002 and I'm a certified Scrum trainer. I've consulted with some of the largest and most prestigious companies in the world and I've coached them through a lot of problems with the ways they implement Scrum. These are the Scrum myths. One common myth of Scrum is the requirement for planning upfront before the first sprint. This often leads to excessive preparation. So the way this looks is that a lot of organizations feel like they need to do some waterfall work up front. This is things like planning, requirements gathering, architecture and design, and then doing some sprints. And these sprints are focused on development, coding, maybe a tiny bit of testing, and then going back into a waterfall approach at the end, which is uh, more in-depth testing, deployment, and so forth. This is not technically wrong, but actually Scrum allows us to start without any preparation. So that, in fact, your whole process just looks like a long sequence of sprints, one after another. And every sprint potentially delivers some valuable business results. Now, these results, should be about the product that you're building, not another way of just doing preparation. So in fact, Scrum allows us to stop that upfront preparation work. So the way that I learned this is from a great story by Ken Schwaber, the founder of Scrum. The CIO of a large IT organization told Ken, you know, I run these projects, they're 12 to 18 months long, and at the end I don't get what I need. And Ken Schwaber said to him, well, you know what? With Scrum, I can deliver what you don't need in a month. And that's really the gist of it. So if we just dive into that first sprint and try and deliver something that's really valuable to the business, that's what Scrum is about. It's about an empirical process where we adapt as we go. Each sprint, we adjust. We use the different parts of the Scrum process to learn as we go, and in particular to learn by doing instead of learning by upfront analysis. Please subscribe to our channel, and if you have any questions, write them in the comments section below. We'll try to answer them in future videos. If you're struggling with Scrum, contact us, we can help. Thanks for watching.